So I recently I installed an RGB light strip behind my TV to give me that cool glow behind the set. And I was looking for a way of controlling it. So I came across this little rotary encoder that's connected via Zigbee to my Home Assistant. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the standard Home Assistant integration, and then I'm gonna show you a blueprint that makes it work much better. So for the LED strip, I chose one of these kits from Atom, which comes including the LED cob strip, plus an Atom controller preloaded with WLED and the power supply. And as you can see, once I rigged this up behind my TV, it looked really cool. So for the Zigbee dial, I chose one of these on AliExpress, which as you can see was pretty cost effective. It offers both a single click, double press, long press, and then of course our rotary encoding. Now I have left the link in the description below as well as a link to the LED lights. So having a look at the device itself, um, it's got this little magnetic base behind that can be screwed on and then you could mount it on the wall with that. It does also have a magnetic back so you could stick it to any metal surface but the magnet itself is not very strong compared to other magnets I've played with. Um, turning it around we obviously have the rotary dial over here. Now the problem that I have with this rotary dial Unlike many of the dials that are on the outside, this one is actually on the inside, the turning part, and these little rotation um, or these little marks on it are actually not helping me much in the way of turning this. So I may need to modify this slightly to make it easier to use, but I'm also going to explore some of the other ones on the market. So it also has the press button, and each time it activates, you can see the little LED lights up. Um, on the side here, you can see that we've got our pairing button and it pairs up extremely easily with my Zigbee network. So I've got the brightness displaying here in Home Assistant and the moment I start increasing this dial, you will see that the responsiveness is really bad. It's just every so often it'll increase, but it's not working well at all. So while searching for an option, I came across this Moe's Zigbee Smart Knob. And if you scroll down here, I'll leave a link in the description below, but we have a blueprint that we can use to control this device with far more accuracy. So you just copy this, put this into your blueprints in Home Assistant, and if we then go to Home Assistant, this is the blueprint that it brings in. All we do now is we select our device, our control, and then we select the lights that we want to control with this. So we're collecting the lights for the um, rotary controller, as well as for the press controller, and we save that. So as you can see now, this response is way better. So, so in summary, this project has worked out really well. However, I would recommend trying one of those rotary encoders where you hold the dial on the outside rather than the on the inside like this. I think it'll be much more easy to control, and I have ordered one of those, and I will give your feedback in the comments once that arrives. But anyway, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this content. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.